They are called Blade Runners, elite athletes who are among the fastest in the world, the fastest running with only one leg or no legs. And they're among the first to break records with a new generation of prosthetics. Ursula Perry shows us the science behind the blades. Running faster, stronger, longer. That's what brings Alex and Jessica to CU Boulder and Alina Grabowski. I had a little baby foot, but I was amputated when I was a year old. I had cancer when I was eight. Grabowski is helping these amputees sprint onto the world stage. We're at a place right now where athletes are very high caliber and they're working extremely hard to be able to compete at the highest levels. And I'm hoping that we can start to keep up with them. She is focused on optimizing a prosthetics, stiffness, height, weight and shape. How they move, how they walk, run, sprint, hop, jump. Today they're using cameras and sensors to measure how these sprinters move, track their force and then test these new carbon fiber blades. By changing and enlarging this curve and adding the compound curvature here, that gives you more snap and response there. I think something like that is going to work better around curves. But this blade I'm on is sprinting blade. Um, which when I jog on it, it feels different because it's thicker. What we're seeing today is that this, by splitting the blade, gives you more ground and ground contact. In this video, world-class sprinter Brake Leaper, born without legs, is leading the way. He's being called the fastest human on Earth, and in Grabowski's lab, was clocked at about 25 miles an hour. And she believes this is just the beginning, giving young sprinters around the world a chance to compete against the best in the world. I don't feel like anything is holding me back. I feel like I can do whatever, um, whatever I want. That first day, I felt like I could just run forever and never stop. There's quite a bit of controversy regarding these prosthetic blades. Some say it causes an advantage, but a recent Rice University study showed that blade runners actually are at a disadvantage because they use more energy to push off. In any event, it's still up in the air as to whether the Olympics in 2020 in Tokyo will allow these guys to compete. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.